Welcome to the channel. This is MacCam89. And if you own an Xbox 360, well, guess what? You own one of the best ways to play OG Xbox on a modern television, or you can actually play it on a CRT as well without owning an OG Xbox. Now, obviously, not every game is available, but the vast majority of them are, especially the ones that people typically want to play. And the list is a lot more extensive than if you just own an Xbox Series console or an Xbox One. It is far greater than what they're capable of doing as far as backwards compatibility. Now, there is the caveat of you can mod your Xbox 360 and you can open up that uh, compatibility list quite a bit. However, for this video, I'm going to be recommending Xbox One, original Xbox games for your Xbox 360 that you cannot download. Obviously, you can't download it now via 360, but these are games that are not backwards compatible on your Xbox Series or Xbox One consoles, and you cannot download them, obviously, for that same reason. So, without further ado, let's get into my list. Now, this is not going to be every game that I own or uh, every recommendation. I will make a couple of videos along these lines. And the first one is a military sim game based on modern combat. And it is a game called First to Fight. I actually picked this up rather recently and uh, have been having a good time with it. Now, it is a more mil sim. I wouldn't describe it as armor, it's not as um, in-depth like that type of game. But your Black Hawk Down is another similar, another OG Xbox game, uh, very similar. So if you like that style of military shooter, um, this is a great recommendation. If you like the Ghost Recon Rainbow Six style games, this is also a great uh, recommendation. Is it going to blow you out of the water graphics and animation wise? No. Uh, can be a little janky, but I, uh, for the most part, I feel this this game plays very well. And uh, so far, I've been enjoying the campaign. I do think the graphics are serviceable. Um, it is not a Call of Duty style game, so it is not meant to be played in that style. Although, uh, it is, you know, it has its moments where you can kind of do your run and gun. Uh, but for the most most part, it tries to focus more on a more realism style of play. You can have some game footage for all these games uh, as well. This is a game I think I paid $5 for and is still relatively cheap. However, all of these games that I'm going to recommend are pretty cheap. But you just never know with everything that's going on with X, the Xbox brand. Um, you know, with the store shutting down, with all the FOMO going around xbox 360 and, and things of that nature i think it's going to start affecting the pricing of both the og xbox and xbox 360 games so if you're if you're big into having the physical collections i wouldn't wait too long especially to scoop up a lot of these cheaper games uh because like i said this is a great condition copy i paid five bucks for it and uh it's got a a beautiful manual i mean they knew how to make good manuals uh, back in this area here. So everything that you need to know how to play this game is right there. And that is first to fight for the OG Xbox on your Xbox 360. Like I said, uh, some of the best ways to play these games, especially if you don't own an OG Xbox, but you want to experience that generation. Um, the Xbox 360 is definitely a good go-between uh, for those two consoles, you know, some people don't want to get an, an OG Xbox because they're they're big, they're heavy, they're bulky, uh, and some people just don't want to deal with that. So you get a nice slim model Xbox 360. Uh, do make sure that you are using the official Xbox hard drives because if you use any of the cheap OEM, uh, non OEM uh, hard drives that, that it can be found on Amazon and and all these other places. Uh, there's a good chance that these original Xbox titles will not work. It does require um, official Microsoft uh, hard drive. So that is something to keep in mind uh, if you are going to pick up a 360 with the uh, mindset that you're going to play OG Xbox. Getting away from Military Sim, I do have a good variety of games here. Um, if you want an alternative to the Batman Arkham games, this is a great alternative. This is Batman Begins. And obviously this is before the whole Arkham series 
Is it as good as the Arkham series games? No, uh, absolutely not. But this is a great alternative. Do not be uh, mistaken because it doesn't have Arkham in the title and it's not developed by those same people. Uh, this is still a serviceable Batman game. Uh, I think it's better than most superhero games, especially at that time. And, um, you know, if you love Batman like I do, you can see I got a nice picture of, of him on right behind me. Uh, this is a definitely a good game to try that's outside of that whole Arkham uh, universe. Batman Begins for the original Xbox. I will also say that all of these games so far in my playtesting has been very good compatibility wise there are some games out there that you do have to be aware of, such as halo uh plays worse on the xbox 360 than it does on my original xbox i think grand theft auto vice city is another example and if i personally come across anything during my play testing i will let you know in the videos uh, doesn't mean that the, those games aren't playable uh, but they do suffer some issues because you have to keep in mind this is emulation after all so there are some limitations this next game is one of my favorite og xbox games uh, don't let the price tag fool you especially if you have a couple of buddies this is one of the best xbox games uh, i think for couch co-op and this is conflict desert storm based on the original gulf war the cool thing about this game is it is a four player co-op campaign and each character is a specialist in, in so you'll have a sniper role, uh, you'll have a heavy machine gunner role, you'll have a medic or an explosives role, you'll have your assault gunner role. Um, so if you got four buddies, you can play at the same time on, on the same console and you can each get into that specific role and the way that the combat and the missions are set up um, it is very easy for the scout, you know, the recon to go kind of go off on their own and and set up shop somewhere and then they can be picking off targets while, uh, you know, the assault gunner and the explosive specialists are trying to plant C4 on a tank or a building or a scud missile, whatever the objective is. It's just there's a lot of variety here uh, in that co-op uh, couch setting. Is the game still fun single player? It is. But the game really shines when you have a few buddies playing. This is Conflict Desert Storm. This is a third person shooter, so not a first person. And uh, has a ton of replayability in my opinion. You can play as both the US Forces and the United Kingdom. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's just kind of a skin swap. The story is the same. Still the same objectives. Uh, still the same abilities. So very, very cool game. The thing about the backwards compatibility is they made this backwards compatible, but they did not make the second one. So be cautious of that. If you end up really enjoying this and end up picking up the second one, you do need an OG Xbox to play that. But a uh, fantastic third person shooter, Conflict Desert Storm, one of my all time favorites. Used to play this with my, my brother and a couple of buddies all the time. Now getting into a completely different genre, um, if you enjoy hack and slash adventure games, this is based on a movie, which I really enjoy. Uh, apparently it did not do well, uh, especially enough to garner a sequel, which is unfortunate because I think the movie is fantastic. It's a lot of fun, uh, but apparently some people did not like it and, um, it didn't end up taking off the way that they were hoping that it would. And this is Van Helsing, the game based on the movie. Uh, but there are some liberties here. Not everything is the same as in the movie. I am really enjoying this. This game is a hack and slash. So think of Devil May Cry. Think of Dante's Inferno. Those types of games. Um, beautiful graphics, uh, especially for the time. I think the, the story and the voice acting are very good. Uh, a lot of the original actors that were in the movie reprised their roles in here. So you actually have Hugh Jackman uh, playing Van Helsing. And if you're like me and you just kind of like this this kind of story and these environments, uh, this is an awesome game. Van Helsing for the original Xbox on your 360. Plays fantastic, looks fantastic on the Xbox 360. Van Helsing, check it out. Again, not a very expensive game. A lot of these games, this is complete in box. Um, 
I'm not going to show you every game, but I mean, they come with a nice thick manual. So if you love just kind of that old school feel of looking through the manuals and, and, and seeing the lore of the stories and just getting different info, uh, this was still in that era where they had nice thick manuals. So, all right, getting back into the third person action games, uh, shooting games. This is another cool title, and this is Freedom Fighters for the original Xbox. Uh, this is a very fun game, kind of, I wouldn't say, I guess the gameplay style would be very similar to Conflict Desert Storm, but you are playing as an average Joe where the United States is being invaded and you team up with the re the resistance and rebels and uh, you end up fighting back and taking back New York City. So this is a, a lot of fun. This one here does say it is for players. I personally have never played a co-op, so I don't know how well it plays in that. I, I would imagine it would be just as fun as the Conflict Desert Storm games. But I have played this plenty single player and have been having a good time with this. I ended up buying this actually at a thrift store for $3.49. I think this game is worth well more than that. Um, Freedom Fighters for the OG Xbox. Very cool game. All right, now the last one for this list, but won't be the last video for this uh, series, is a survival horror game for the OG Xbox. And I actually believe, if I'm not mistaken, they are remastering this game or remaking it, I, would, I should say. And it is a very fascinating game. Uh, very cool mechanics, also based on a movie. And that is the thing. Really enjoyed this game as a teenager. Uh, kind of freaked me out at times because you just never knew who you could trust. Uh, somebody that you'd be talking to some, a character in the game and then all of a sudden they're an enemy. They become the alien and they're uh, attacking you. Uh, obviously, it stays pretty true to the movie. Uh, very, very cool game. If you like action survival horror games, uh, this is one to pick up. Like I said, I believe they are making a remake, but this is still a game that you can have pretty cheaply. Even complete in box like this. This is the one thing that's good for now about collecting for OG Xbox games is they are relatively cheap. So you can get a lot of great games for very little money uh, for the time being, at least while I'm recording this. But that may change, especially because we just don't know what's going on with Xbox right now um, and what their plans for the future are. So... There is a very good chance, especially with the Xbox 360 store closing and, uh, you know, the uncertainty of what's happening with a lot of these games that you no longer have access to. Um, I suspect that these Xbox games will start to grow in value as well as the Xbox 360 games as well. So fantastic game. Survival horror uh, really makes you think, can you trust the friend that you're that you were just in the room with? Uh, Whitney, very very Blake. cool mechanics um, what have you got? can't say i've really seen One any other game kind of do something like survivors. this it kind of reminds me of uh one of those modern games now where uh you have to you, you i'm trying to think of what the name of it is. yeah i can picture it in my mind uh, but i can't think the, the name of the games but it's basically you got a group of players and you got to find out who the uh saboteur kind of is um it's, it kind of reminds me of that in a, a modern style but obviously a much different environment so those were my picks for volume one of og xbox games for your xbox 360 uh, make sure to pick these up and if you like this video please be sure to comment in the comment section below let me know which one of these games that you're interested in also let me know what i should check out uh, again og xbox that are backwards compatible that you i cannot get on my xbox one or series consoles you let me know in the comment section below as always happy gaming and god bless